on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. Like, she has to be your best friend first. She has to be your best friend. Yo, fam, listen. Uh, dude has, Anton specifically has a philosophy that says, if you're not married, then you single. Okay, cool. I respect that. Cool. Me and my girl, we've been together going on five years, fam. And um, what I can tell you is she know my deepest, darkest. And she didn't held me down. And I didn't see many people in this space that didn't said, I didn't see blind guy, uh, his wife, their life, right? He's blind 21 years, but they've been married. And, and they could correct me if I'm wrong. They've been married 27, 25 years. We definitely appreciate you guys for tuning in to our peep let's talk tonight it's definitely going to be a great show as usual this is the greatest show ever make sure you guys hit that like button also subscribe to the channel and shout out to our sponsor which is teach him uncomplicated skin for me i do have that link posted at the top so make sure you guys click the link and check it out you do get a free gift we'll get this show started first topic of the night man we're going to discuss will and jada i know you guys seen it on the thumbnail will and jada Yet again, are in the headlines. Jada does it again. Well, at least she came today and said that she wasn't doing anything, that everything was okay. But we're not going to, per se, talk about their relationship. But I did pull something out of that relationship. Um, one of the things that I pulled out, well, today she she was talking about, was it a couple of days ago? She was talking about sex. You know, that was the conversation that they was discussing, right? And she described a moment that it was a time that her and will wasn't seeing eye to eye and i guess when it came to something involving sex so it was a tough conversation so our first topic of the night is how comfortable okay. do you have to be to have uncomfortable conversations in a relationship there you go um i think you have to be pretty comfortable to have an uncomfortable conversation within a relationship uh you know i do i do know that there are outliers who just out the gate, start having whatever conversation with people. But I think in my observation, for the most part, that um, people like to build up. You know what? Let me not even say that because it's not even about building up. I think some people are just uncomfortable communicating certain things, whether it's a relationship, whether it's family, friends, whoever, um, you know, for many factors. I don't want to necessarily get completely into because I know I'd be going off into my soliloquies. But I think that it's, um, you have to be really comfortable um, for most people. Uh, and communication is key. So like the fact that you have to be comfortable to have these uncomfortable conversations just feeds into like the issues that arise when you're not comfortable having those conversations. So like a disconnect in communication is a big deal. Um, in many relationships from what I've seen. Okay. Crimson, how comfortable do you have to be uncomfortable? You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was waiting on the screen to come across it. <laughs> how comfortable do you have to be to have uncomfortable conversations in a relationship? There you go. There we go. That's my teacher. That's my teacher. Okay, so... <laughs> You have to be really, really comfortable, but what gives you comfortability is honesty and trust. Agreed. So you can't have, you can't be comfortable with an uncomfortable relationship if you're not accustomed to being honest and you're, you don't have any trust. And when I say trust, I mean, you don't trust what the other person has to say, or you don't trust their opinion of you, or you think it's bad, or you think they have some underpinnings that maybe have not been explored. Um, you just don't have the trust of the communication to say, you know what, babe, 
you know, I was really thinking about something. And can we have this conversation? Because this has really been on my mind. If you don't, if you have not had uncomfortable conversations in one area, you can't have it in another, if that makes sense. So you need honesty and you need trust in order to become comfortable enough to have an uncomfortable conversation. Okay. Hmm. I like that answer. I like that. Rella, how comfortable yeah, do boy. you have to be uncomfortable? Yeah, boy, I figured you was going to come to me first, man. You know well, I nah, you know, I ain't do it that time, man. Nah, but you know I talk about it all the time. You got that black hoodie having... on the day, so. Man, you don't know what type of nigga you going to get today, bro. <laughs> right now. Real talk. Um, Real is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> shout out to Forrest Gump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, real spill though, you know, I say all the time about having the ugly conversation first, right? The ugly conversation in Crimson, man, I appreciate it. I've been deep diving into your content so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so you're much. You're very for welcome, you. and I appreciate uh, it. Nah, thank you for what you're doing in this space. And what I talk about is having the ugly conversation first. Right, the ugly conversation. Because when I said that, Anton, what, what's the ugly conversation, Jr. What's the ugly conversation? I said the conversation that you have with your girl, when you know you' about to get serious about her. Everything that would turn you off to her, and everything that would turn her off to you, that's what we had, and we didn't even. I discovered it by accident, honestly. I discovered that conversation by accident. And this is what I this is what I spilled to the young boys is that you need to have that conversation. You need to be, and what it is, honestly, is just being upfront, honest, and um direct about you know where you are, who you are, where your intentions are, where you're headed, what your vision is, so on and so forth. And 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 if you're comfortable with that woman, you can get into the deep um the deep things that would make a person say, eh, I'm gonna pass on that, right? So how comfortable do you have to be to have the uncomfortable conversations? Um, you know, I know people hate when I do this cause I can't not do it. Like do be right. Like he do, he, he do be right. Uh, Anton talks about <laughs> the one, like she has to be your best friend first. She has to be your best friend. Yo, fam. Listen, uh, dude has Anton specifically has a philosophy that says if you're not married, then you single. Okay, cool. I respect that. Cool. Me and my girl, we've been together going on five years, fam. And um, what I can tell you is she know my deepest, darkest. And she didn't held me down. And I didn't see many people in this space that didn't said, I didn't see blind guy, uh, his wife, their life, right? He's blind 21 years, but they've been married. And, and they could correct me if I'm wrong. They've been married 27 25 years 